Here's the next batch. Let's see what we get. That's what we got from this one. Uh, two by Centennial Quarters. Over here. 1981 half dollar. Oh, sorry. Another by Centennial Quarter. 1959 D penny. 1941 nickel. Um, 1954 nickel. And then I got a 1952 wheat cent. Pretty good condition. Um, let's see. Where are these? And then three one cents from Canada. 1978, 76, and a 63. So, uh, let's get to the next batch here shortly. Alright, for now, I'm just going to try to make this real quick. Um, since these videos are running long, and this has been taking me, it's like I started like Monday or something like yeah it was, yeah it started Monday and that's Thursday and I'm gonna try to get this done quick so I'm gonna do handfuls at a time so I can just kinda like roll through it I guess I'll see how it works so uh I'm not gonna show you the batch after a couple of these I'm gonna show you what I found cause right, right now you know what I mean it's only one thing so I'll get back to you alright guys I probably went through um eight or ten little handfuls and I'll go over what I got so far 1979 half, and then uh, bicentennial half, 71 half, 71 half, 78 half, three bicentennial quarters, um, another plastic copy thing. Let me cover this up so you can try to see. Uh, let me start. Um, three wheat cents. We'll start with the oldest, 1951 D. That one's in the best shape of the other. 1956 D. D. That's pretty good shape in the back, but the front's not so good. And then 1957, plain, is not really good condition at all, but go to the collection. Uh, foreign coins. Oh, and there's another plastic penny, but, you know. Sorry. And then there's one of those 2009 pennies. I don't really know much, so I don't know who it is. It's a guy standing in front of a monument. Yeah, so there's that one. A... Two pence, um, and twenty pence, and then there's a uh, another no cash value. All right, let's start off the oldest here. Nineteen forty-seven nickel. Okay, nineteen forty-one nickel. Good. Nineteen thirty-eight nickel. That's the oldest nickel I have. And then I finally got a reward. 1943 nickel, silver nickel, yep, 35%, which is good. Now I have a silver nickel, and this is a, it's a Philadelphia mint, and it's not bad on the front, you know, it's, and but it's kind of like stained looking on the back. You can see that dirt up there, but I'll put that up for 1954 quarter, so that's good. And I'll just keep doing this, because look, finally I'm almost empty, which is bad, but it's good. Hopefully I'll find something else. If not, I... Uh, the start of a good collection here, so, uh, yeah. Okay, I probably went through 12 handfuls. I don't know. But it's going to be my, there's going to be one more after this, and that should be it. And then I'll have separate videos of what I found and everything. So we'll go over this real quick. Uh, 1995 Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, token. A, another plastic copy thing from a toy or whatever. Um... Oh, I got one of these already. It's a Grand Canyon quarter. It's like the new series they're doing. Off the different landmarks. I have one, but I'll put that there. Um, a 10 pence. A 1 cent from Canada. Another 10 pence. Um, new penny. Which is from, I don't know, it's a different foreign coin. Um, another 1 cent from Canada. Another one sent from Canada. Uh, one penny. <clears throat> Let me see. I know there's oh, and five, right? Five pence. I think I had some more. Oh yeah, and this one. Two pence. I think that's it for the foreign coins. Then we got nineteen seventy-seven half dollar seventy-four. 72, 
88 and a bicentennial. Then we got one, two, three, four, five bicentennial quarters. Um, nope, nope, six bicentennial quarters. Sacagawea dollar. Um, this nickel, which looks like it was put on a railroad track. You can't see it, but it barely, you can barely see the little uh, monument on the back for the nickel. This penny, which is bent all up somehow. I don't know. Um, 1954 nickel. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, this penny, the one with the log cabin on the back. I think I've got all the 2009 pennies. So that's that. That's good. The nickel with the wood boat on the back. The wood boat. It's a 2004. So I got this. Uh, the Ocean in View. The Louisiana Purchase. And the Lewis and Clark one. So that's good. Got all the new nickels and pennies, I think. And then we'll get into the wheat cents. Let me go, uh. Oops, that's not one. Let's see. Okay, let's go to best condition. Or worst condition first. It's one, a wheat cent. It is, uh, hold on, 1950, plain, uh, this one's probably next, what is it, 1952, S, hmm, this one is a 1956 plain, this one is, uh, 1945, plain, and this one is another 1956 plane. Wish you could see this a little better. So, I'll overview these, everything I found later on. But that's the finds for there. And then we'll get back to the last one in a few minutes. So, yep, that's it. Alright. You can see she's empty. It's a lot different than the 72 pounds it originally was. We didn't find much. We found, uh,. Let's start, 1971 half, 1972 half, 1979 half, 1989 half, 1971 half, and three bicentennial quarters, a washer, a fuse that goes to Christmas lights, a rusty screw, an old beat up battery, <laughs> and then uh, we're getting back into some money here, one cent Canadian. And uh, 10 cents from Jamaica, 5 cent Canadian again, 1958 nickel, what's this, oh, it's just a, oh, it's one of those uh, Lewis and Clark 2004 nickels, uh, really, really the shiniest penny I've seen the whole time, it's only 6 years old but still, if I can keep it this good for a long time it might be worth something eventually. Uh, uh, just another good quality, 1962. There's an ant. Um, uh, good quality, 1975. Not as good as 1962 here. I found this 1962, or 1968. It's really bold. Looks like it was double punched. Or whatever. Yeah, another sack of Jewea dollar. Hmm, 1941 nickel. Um, three wheat cents. Sorry, let me get adjusted here. This one is a 1958D. This one is a 1957D. And this one is a 1944 plane. Then we got this Franklin Roosevelt uh, commemorative coin uh, token. You know, Franklin D. Roosevelt born, you know, all his information. And so that was pretty cool. So those are the last finds. Now I'm going to do a cleanup video. And then I'm going to do a, a, a find video. On all that I found. So, I'll try to see uh, if I can make this video. And we'll get back to it. Here goes the cleanup. I don't know how good this is going to work. So, uh, we'll just get to this here. And, uh... It only took five days, but, you know, we'll 
gonna start with some nickel boy. How's this gonna work? Nickel? Is this gonna work? This is a bad idea. I wonder how good this is gonna work. Paper funnel for easy whatever and I'm just gonna you know so uh I don't know if it's gonna be a real video but we'll see my phone at the end all right here we go works pretty good I'm gonna have to like wash my carpet now I finished filling it up. Uh, took me like 30 minutes, but you know what I gotta do now is make that video. And I sprayed my carpet with Lysol. I'm gonna have to vacuum it now because it's very dirty. So uh, yeah, this is gonna go on the end of the video. So uh, yep. I wish I had one of those robot vacuums.